Jason with Geopolymer Solutions. Today we're going to demonstrate our FP250 for you. We're going to spray it on our columns. It's 85 degrees, 81% humidity, sunny, clear, and calm here in Houston, Texas. So you want to apply FP250 when the ambient temperature is above 40 degrees Fahrenheit and your surface temperature is below 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's talk surface preparation. Notice there's no lath, primer, scratch coat, corner bead. The only thing that you need to do is to remove any loose mill scale from your substrate. We're ready. So this is two and a quarter inches on one lift, one single spray. Anyone else is fireproofing, you would have had to achieve that in half inch lifts, which would have taken you four hours. In hours, it took two minutes. So it's about 24 hours after we sprayed yesterday. As you can see, we've done some very limited trimming and troweling on the steel column. As you can see, it has a mottled bluish green tint color to it. This is a natural event that happens with all of our acid resistant concrete and fireproofing materials. It phases into a tan color within a few days. Countless architects, contractors, and engineers have complained to us about other manufacturers' materials cracking and falling off steel substrates. Falling off columns and cracking is many times the result of corrosion occurring on the steel substrate. Our materials contain inherent corrosion inhibitors consisting of sodium tetraborate and sodium silicon. The next time you walk into a multi-story building, you might want to ask whose fireproofing is installed. It could mean your life. FP250, what's in your hopper? Mm -hmm. 